will not be easy as Duke has absolutely dominated their opponents here. Couple of lineup changes for you. Ewing starts at the point for Duke. They have been disappointed in Chris Duhon. And there's the turnover, the steal for North Carolina. Felton. McCants is not starting. McCants did not start the last game because they criticized his defense. And here are the Cadillac starting lineups for tonight. You see Noel Williams, Sanders, Felton, Jackie Manuel, the defensive specialist, Jones, Horvath, Sanders, Reddick, and Ewing for Duhon at the point. The five starting with Mike Krzyzewski. Well, you know, Chris Duhon has really been struggling, not really providing the leadership that Mike Krzyzewski wants. So now he's going to try to motivate him by letting him sit a little bit, let him observe, and then hope to get the real Chris Duhon, who was voted preseason the most likely player of the year in the conference. Williams, who has been hot lately, 24 and 22 in his last two outings. And there is David Noel, who was starting for McCants. Noel started in the last game, came through with a career-high 14 points and eight rebounds. He's very good on defense and probably their toughest player. But he's earned the right to start because of the effort he has given on the defensive end. They have not, as you said earlier, been happy with Rashad McCants, who's an offensive, absolutely explosive player, but he has not really played on the defensive end to what they really want. Takes a lot of guts to bench not only your leading scorer, but one of the leading scorers in the ACC. And especially when you've lost four in a row. Yeah. Two turnovers for Duke. Noel gives it off to Jawad Williams. He buries the jumper, and Caroline off to a quick 5 nothing lead. And that's the kind of start you have to get when you come into this building, because you know the Cameron crazies are going to be loud and be into it. You want to try to quiet them down. Dante Jones, they did a nice job of rubbing him off the screen, and Dante Jones knocks down the three. Mike, where was his shot against Florida State? He was 1 for 10. He and Duhon went 3 for 17 in that loss. For the second year in a row, they went down to Tallahassee and lost. Look at Noel driving inside. Can't hit it. Here comes Ewing on the run. Ewing. Got it. Tough shot. What a big time move. I got to meet his dad today in the lobby of the hotel at the Marriott. He said, my son is ready for this new challenge. Tied at five. Jawad Williams left wide open, and he buries the three-point shot. Seventeen minutes, thirty-six seconds to go. First half of play from Cameron Indoor. Mike Patrick, Dick Vitale, our entire ESPN crew with you. Hot shooting so far. North Carolina is at three out of four. Duke now two out of three. Nice start by North Carolina. Really got their big guy involved, Jawad Williams, coming off two big games. Felton pass a little too strong and another turnover. Dante Jones against Manuel, the best defensive player out there. And Dante Jones hits. Well, he hits his first two shots, Mike. He went one for ten and that lost to Florida State. He and Duhon were three for 17. They can't have that out of their veterans if they're going to really have a great year. And that was really after a hot streak where for 10 games he averaged nearly 19 points. Felton penetrates and he'll draw the foul. Like, how big is this game for North Carolina? You lose four in a row. You start the season off five and all. You win the NIT. You beat Kansas. Things look great. They lose Sean May. And now they're in a situation where the dream of an NCAA bird really now becomes almost desperate. Well, Dick, this game completes the first half of the ACC schedule. Now they have to play everybody again. If they lost this game, they'd be two and six in the conference. If you think, well, they'd be two and six in the next state, it's over. Well, what you're saying is N-I-T. Well, you're not even saying N-I-T. You're saying below 500 and goodbye. Yeah, then you say play in the summer league. But the bottom line is they feel things could turn around, especially if they get Sean May back. They're optimistic there's a chance they can get him back a lot of part of the year. And in the next eight games in conference play, five of them are at home. That would really help. Felton hits a free throw, one out of two. It's 9-7. And look. there's the record since he was hurt. Broken foot. He broke an arm in high school. They say he's a quick healer. He came back quicker than expected from that. Reddick. And Reddick is saying that ball had to be tipped. I'm a great shooter. I'm not going to hit the side of the backboard. Jackie Manuel did a great job challenging defensively. Take a look at his history, Mike. You've been here for all those games. Yes, I have, Dick. 
North Carolina still leads the overall series, but Duke has dominated lately. They won the last five, ten of the last eleven, and they have lumped the heels in the process, winning by almost 20 points a game. Duhon's on the floor now. They need his defensive ability. They need so his leadership. for North Carolina. And then McCann dribbles the ball out of bounds. Look at Duhon, the last six games, really been struggling. Four turnovers a game, but more than that, the 24% field goal percentage, ineffective, but he hasn't played defense. Nice pass to Sanders. Beautiful little pass inside. That was a great look, great angle. Sanders with a good post move. That's been really not existing in their offense. Inside, score. Felton lost the ball. Still loose. Shavlik Randolph comes up with it. He goes inside. Duke with its first lead, and this place is going nuts. It is wacky, just like last night at Rupp Arena when Kentucky put the herd on Florida. Nice move by Jawad Williams to get by Sanders. Good pass to the baseline. Jackie Manuel for three. Got to make that open shot. He's not normally a good long-range shooter. Struggles from that in the perimeter. He's more a slasher. And Carolina is the worst three-point shooting team in the ACC. They've hit their first three tonight. Dante Jones will try a three. Both teams just lighting it up. I tell you, Dante Jones playing like the storm he did earlier this year. Not like the kid that played down there in Tallahassee. He has eight of Duke's first 14 points. Oh, uh, who's that wacky guy? Why don't you join me? Why don't you come up there with me? 63 years old on a Mac 12. Set up a department meeting for tomorrow and put in a call to the client. Get them up to speed. Anything else? Here's a thought. Instead of saving money by not using paper, we could just go to Staples. Yeah, with Staples 365 savings, they compare prices and back it up with a 110% price match guarantee. I like that. Jot that down. Low prices on every item every day. Staples 365 savings. Savings made easy. Could have seen it coming. Cadillac. Breakthrough. Tomorrow night at 7, Josh Howard and Wake Forest face NC State and Julius Hodge as rivalry week intensifies. At 8, it doesn't get any cooler on the ice as the Avalanche beat the Red Wings. At 9, Drew Nicholas and the ACC leading Terrapins meet Virginia. It's all on ESPN and ESPN2 tomorrow night. ESPN's exclusive presentation of NCAA basketball is presented by Staples. Get back time. Go to Staples. And in part by Cadillac. Bold vehicles define convention. Duke in North Carolina, the Heels with the basketball down by two. They're shooting lights out. North Carolina, four out of five. Duke, six out of eight. I think we're going to see a strong performance out of Chris Duhon tonight. I think he's got the message how important he is for this basketball team. Hey, I'll tell you, you talk about McCants, how important he is. Barry Smaluger had an article today about the fact that when he scores 20 a game, in the games they won, he's brilliant. In the games they lose, he shoots 39%.
a big part of their offense. The question is, can they get what they want out of them on defense? McCants trying to go back door. Knocked away from Sanders. Shavlik Randolph reached in. And there's a jump ball situation. This is a great officiating group. Carl has Duke Getzel and Tim Higgins, three veteran guys that are going to let them play. Had that last night also with Clarkity and certainly Teddy Valentine and Jim Barr. As you look at McCants, he's just got to really listen to his teammates too who are sending a message to him. you got to play hard every day in practice. You hate to see a talent like that not respond to a bunch of coaches that are so passionate and love that jersey they represent. Sanders tries to get it inside, may have been tipped, and here comes Duhon on the run. Nice burst to the basket, it's blocked, and an offensive foul on Duhon. A little bit out of control, trying to be the aggressor. As you look at Coach K, Coach Teddy did not even show up after the Florida State game for the post-game radio show. He was so long with his team after that game. Bob Harrison does a great job, and then we're waiting, and Coach K was more concerned about his team. Turnovers early. Ewing, nice move to get free. Hits the jumper. Well, if it hadn't been for turnovers, it'd be 30-30 by now. <laughs> Nobody's missed a shot. I love the little guy. I think Felton is one of the elite eight players in terms of diaper dandies in the country. Wonderful player. That pass too strong for Randolph. And what he's done now, Felton, has really improved this perimeter game, shooting 50% from out of the perimeter. I don't know if you've seen the kid Carmelo Anthony. I think he's the best freshman in the nation. From seen him on television. He looks pretty good. But I'll tell you one thing about Felton. Even when he wasn't scoring very many points, and some of the fans were disappointed, this was when North Carolina was winning early in the season, and he was just delighted to be where he was. Yeah, and he was passing the ball exceptionally well. Great follow by Noel on the McCants miss. Well, let's join the third member of our team tonight. Here's Jay Billis. Jay, how are you? Doing great, Mike. One of the big matchups in this ballgame is the point guard matchup. Duke wants to really get out and pressure Raymond Felton when he gets up the ball. Don't let him get it back. They really think they can get into North Carolina's offense that way and take them out of transition. And on the other end, Chris Duhon has got to assert his leadership better with this team. He didn't start in this ballgame. Coach K trying to push every button he can to get his junior playing better basketball. Jawad Williams hits a three. Boy, I tell you what. They came with their shooting clothes tonight. What a nice penetration by Felton to create the open opportunity. And Williams has really responded. As you said earlier, 24 and 22 in his last two games. And North Carolina has hit all four of its three-point shots. And Williams has eight points so far in this first half. They lost a tough game to Wake Forest. Shavlik Randolph, who has four points off the bench, taken away. Noel travel would have been an easy bucket for the heels, but they lose it. Take a look at the penetration. He creates, he innovates, and he kicks out. He's the 3D man, baby. Drive, draw, and dish the rock, and Mr. Williams knows how to finish. That is the exact spot at Georgia Tech. He hit three buckets in a row in the first half, and he set a career high in the first half. Somebody went and stood on the spot in the second half. <laughs> Hey, Georgia Tech, Paul Hewitt's club at home is like unbeatable. Reddick wide open for three, count it. You better not leave him open. He got challenged big time down at Florida State when it was four for 13. If you allow him to be open, forget about it. He gets open shots, he could get 50. Felton, that's a tough shot. Nice rebound by Horvath. Drew Nicholas really covered him big time in the second half when Maryland put the hurt on Duke. Duhon for three, short Sanders rebound. Sanders and Horvath getting a lot of playing time to veterans. Dante Jones looked like he made up his mind he was going to shoot that one early. Reddick got the rebound. What they want out of Duhon, as Jay said, leadership, penetrate, create opportunities, and then defend. He must defend because pressure defense is so vital to do. Reddick is now being guarded by Melvin Scott. They need him to play some good defense. He has not shot well. Horvath leans in walk. Yeah, he lifted that pivot foot. Had a nice game in a loss at Florida State. 12 off the glass. Had 11 points. And this place is rocking, Mike. It's, it's a, a typical North Carolina Duke game. That's right. Martin, please, come in. 
Everyone know Martin from IT, the guy who linked all our applications together? What, no chair? Okay. Anyone whose department didn't make a 170% return on investment last quarter, step back from the table. <laughs> Grab a seat, Martin. System upgrade. What happens when the technology you invest in actually makes you money? Novell. At most rental car companies, 25 bucks will get you a basic economy car. While at budget, 25 bucks will get you a roomy midsize car or even a midsize SUV. Let's see, 25 bucks for an economy car or 25 bucks for a roomy midsize car. For a limited time, rent a roomy midsize car or midsize SUV for only 25 bucks a weekend day from Budget, where you get more car and pay less money. Go to Budget.com today or call 1-800-BUDGET-7. Clowns not included. The well has run dry, so to choose a gatherer, these males use a highly sophisticated method of selection. These guys are my buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Chop, chop, cast yeah. yeah. Grab a rock. ahead of the game Sunday with Pittsburgh. Not a great effort against Seton Hall tonight. Meanwhile, Marcus Toniel drives and penetrates. Pirates are hitting their free throws up by 7, 13 seconds. Another Big East ranked team, UConn, goes down big. VC one-point lead over St. John's in the final 30 seconds. Keep you posted. We're tied at 19 with 11.51 to go. Earlier before the game, all the Cameron crazies outdoors waiting to get inside. This is the most precious ticket you can find at Duke. These kids wait forever. And sure, some of the luster is off. Duke has dropped tonight. They were number one a couple of weeks ago. North Carolina's been struggling. I don't care what you say. This is the best game in college basketball. Oh, it says North Carolina and Duke in that jersey. And that just simply means enthusiasm, energy, a lot of pride, tradition. It is so special. It is the greatest rivalry, Mike. I agree with you. There are other rivalries a little bit more intense right now in terms of winning Duke plays Maryland, in terms of what's at stake. But the bottom line is Duke and Carolina is still special. Daniel Ewing picks up his second foul. You know, Maryland and Duke, obviously, the stakes have been so high in those matchups. And Maryland right now in control of its own destiny in the ACC. Doing a great job, Gary Williams and his kids. More NCAA action coming your way at midnight Eastern. The West Coast Conference takes center court when the Pepperdine Wave goes against the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Felton with the basketball in a 19-19 tie. Nearly a steal. And Felton saves at the baseline. Has such great vision. His passing ability is so special. Oh, pretty pass that time, and Noel powers one. I'll tell you, Noel has really improved his game. They liked him in the workouts. Dean Smith told me about him at the Jimmy V banquet. He said, hey, let me tell you, this David Noel could be a surprise. Went there on the football scholarship originally. He has seven points. They talked him into playing basketball. He's a big time football recruit. Reddick was driving and he's fouled on the way in. Again, more NCAA action coming your way at midnight Eastern, the West Coast Conference. The Pepperdine Wave against arch rival Gonzaga. Undefeated in conference play, they beat Pepperdine on January 12th and tomorrow ESPN2. Two more great matchups. NC State against Wake Forest at 9, Virginia against Maryland. All part of rivalry week. Well, you'll be there for that Virginia Maryland game. What is happening in Virginia? I don't know. Keith Jennifer is suspended indefinitely for conduct detrimental to the team. That's got to be a blow when you lose your point guard that way. 
I'll tell you one thing, Maryland really hot. They have really responded after losing all the talent they did to the NBA last year. Hasn't Gary Williams done a brilliant job with that? Reddick, he's hit two bombs in a row. If he gets wide open, you just count it. He's automatic. He's also going to make my elite eight diaper dandies. Knocked away, another steal. Turnovers becoming a factor early in the game. Great pass and a great block by Noel. Check it, McCann's got that one. I tell you, what passion is on that floor now. And the enthusiasm. Look at Reddick. Look at that floor. He squares his body. He gets the great look, the rotation. He has the unbelievable follow through. Forced the shot that time. Noel is on him. That's a tough match for Reddick. Even at that height. Dockery had it knocked away. North Carolina has really responded here. They have come out and played with a lot of fire. I think Noel makes them tougher at both ends of the court. He gives them that physical presence they missed since May was out. And he's a good athlete as well. He can run up and down, a good transition player. They are a different team, though, if they get Sean May on the inside to post up. Reddick tried to get it to Horvath, and he couldn't handle it. Look at Sean. Dad was Scott. Great player, played on an undefeated team, Indiana. Speaking of Indiana, the general gets number 800 most likely tonight. That whole thing. I mean, Nebraska. speaking of Texas Tech. Yeah, right, Texas Tech. Well, I said speaking of Indiana, because when I think of Indiana, I think of night. That's right. <laughs> McCants with a miss. He has yet to get on track after not starting for the second straight game. Duhon forced it down the lane. No basket. He was fouled before the shot. But at least he's trying to be aggressive. He's exactly. really attacking the basket. Really been in a real struggle. Here he is right now. Look for his Duhon. They need his penetration ability. They need leadership out of him. He's a veteran. They got a host of young kids around him. And that is the difference that North Carolina did do. North Carolina is surrounded by all young people. Matt Doherty doesn't have the luxury of having veterans like Dante Jones and Sanders and Horvat and Duhon. No, his veterans are sophomores. Right, his veterans are second-year players. Good call, Mike. Rashad McCants will pick up his first personal rivalry week, of course, presented by Novell, and this is the 213th renewal of this rivalry. North Carolina against Duke, the first of the home-and-home -home series. Had a rivalry last night, Kentucky, Florida. I saw a suffocating defense. The best I've witnessed in 10 years for a half put on by Tubby Smith and his Wildcats. Dante Jones leans in, can't hit it. Good defense inside by the heels. Scott, pull up jumper. He has not shot the ball well, but he is now. Well, you know what Matt Doherty did? I thought it was a great coaching move. Before the game, I was by the locker room. He told them, and he said, if you miss a shot or two, don't worry, I'm not taking you out. Shoot the ball and shoot it with confidence. Sometimes that's what it takes. Sanders. Noel with another rebound. Noel logging some very good minutes tonight. Three boards for him. McCants got by Dante Jones, and it falls. I don't think there's any doubt that McCants is as talented as any freshman in America offensively. He has to buy into the fact you have to play on two sides of the floor. That's his first bucket. It came at the 9-10 mark. And North Carolina extends this lead to three. The field goal scored. Both teams shooting very, very well. Take a look at Rashad McCants right here. He goes against the veteran, Dante Jones. Takes him to the goal. Very strong. A physical driver. Very explosive. He's also a member of my Elite Eight. There's no doubt. Take a look at his point production, 18 a game. Remember, he doesn't, again, have the luxury of having a bunch of players around him to help him out. I'll tell you what, these guys don't play like freshmen. Oh, no, they play so much basketball during the summer, all the competition. Very good inbounds pass. Randolph can't hit it, can't hit it again. Now he gets it blocked inside by Manuel. Dante Jones with the loose ball, now taken by Carolina. McCants, Randolph reaches around and commits the foul. Not a good play by Shavlik Randolph. That'll get you one every time. Yeah, not a good one at all. Had a great game against Butler, who they 
beat here a very good Butler team who I believe will be in the NCAA tournament this year. He had 24 points off the bench, then got sick, and only played six minutes in that loss against Florida State. Hey, I told you about a month ago, I said, take it to the bank, Leonard Hamilton, in three years, will have Florida State in the first division in the ACC. Yeah, Trust but you me. didn't say anything about last week. No. <laughs> Felton got caught up in the air, dumps it to Manuel. Manuel leans in, that's a blocking foul. Well, Tim Higgins, he makes the call with unbelievable quickness, and that's what I love about an official. No doubt, call it with confidence. It even hides sometimes when you're wrong, when you call it with authority. Yeah. There's the kick out, there's the drive, and they got the block. Good call. It was not there. Defensive player was not set, was not there. They beat him to the spot. Jackie Manuel goes to the free throw line, 69% from the strike. Carolina with a three-point lead, 8.28 to go in the half. Manuel misses the first. Jackie, an outstanding defensive player, a stopper on the defensive end. North Carolina early this year. I had him in that Kansas game, had him in the NIT. You would have thought, watching them play, Mike, they'd never be sitting at 11 and 9. But then again, didn't know about the injury happening for Sean May. Carolina, one of four from the free throw line. Duke has not shot a free throw in the first half. Teams have been doing a better job of keeping Duke away from the free throw line. And also happened in their game with Maryland. Dante Jones, beautiful change of direction. Then he missed the shot. Manuel with a rebound. McCants, pretty fast. Oh, that's great transition basketball. That's Carolina basketball. Vintage Nardine Smith there. And that's how well Noel runs the court. He has nine first half points. What a great job in transition. Filling the lane, 45 degree angle. Dean Smith used to teach that great fashion at North Carolina. Carolina by five. In and out by Ewing. Pretty pass by McCants as well. North Carolina play with a lot of confidence. They got a lot of bounce. This guy could really attack you off the dribble, but can't. Jawan Williams kicks it out to Felton. He's got range. He's been Felton buries one. He's really been hot lately, Mike. He has elevated his game to a new level. Raymond Felton is going to be a special player at North Carolina. North Carolina with its biggest lead. Duke has missed its last eight shots. And on cue, J.J. Redick will check back in at the next one. I've not lost that hold on the longest win streaks in America at home. And Duhon with another turnover. Duke out of sorts right now offensively. And the Heels have gone on an 11-0 run. And wow. one of the rare fast break opportunities they have had here at Cameron Indoor. 30-22. Chris, uh, think what you might about Bobby Knight. A lot of things he's done that I'm sure he would like to have back, but he is one of the great coaches that ever lived in any sport. The man is brilliant the way he conducts a basketball team. Well, he represents all the things you believe in, work ethic, exactly. the tradition of giving your best, doing things with integrity, playing as a team, forget about playing for the name on the back of a jersey, play for the front of the jersey, and that's what he also taught to Mike Krzyzewski, his former disciple. As you look here at the numbers, 799, get ready to change that to 800. I mean, I got... Jim Phelan, of course, retiring. And let's, uh, while we have an opportunity, let's go to Jay Billis. Jay? Guys, coming into this ball game, Duke wanted to put a lot of pressure on North Carolina, but the North Carolina guards have done a great job of handling that pressure. If you notice, North Carolina has kept the court spread. They beat Duke off the dribble, and they've really been ready to shoot when the ball has arrived. I think their handling of pressure is one of the big reasons they're ahead right now. Well, you're absolutely right, Jay. They've done a great job. And, Jay, I'll tell you this. They're 5-6 to six shooting the three, and the penetration of Felton has been absolutely sensational. He has won the battle of the point guard club. Well, Felton makes a huge difference on this team because of that ability to penetrate and to get the ball into scoring areas. Jawad Williams under some pressure this time as they got him off that spot. There's more NCAA action still to come. All one step will talk to you about this. The NBA All-Star Friday at 9 o'clock Friday. Stuart Scott and Kevin Frazier will anchor the festivities to kick off the NBA's All-Star Weekend in Atlanta.
Dante Jones down the line. He's really asserting himself offensively. Duke has won 23 in a row at home. It's one of the longest win streaks. The best Oklahoma with 33, followed by Western Kentucky.